Let's take a look now at Google Drive Scenario 1. As a counselor, Florencio has many files containing students' IEPs and 504 plans. To organize them into folders by grade level, he often drags and drops them into the corresponding folder. If he cannot drag and drop, he right-clicks on a folder and selects Move. This allows him to find and choose any folder or subfolder in his drive to place the file. Since many of the files he gets are owned by other colleagues, Florenzo will right-click on a file, select Add Shortcut to Drive, and then select the folder where he wants to store the shortcut. So let's take a look at three different ways now that you can uh, move a, uh, a file into a folder. So let's start, I'm going to start with this file right here. This is a tr translated copy of my document. So one way I can do it if I right-click on it, and I can come over here to Move To. It's going to open up all the files that I have here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this file here. And inside this file called Classroom Textbook uh, Text Mark, I'm going to click Move here. And now that has been moved out of my uh, my drive into that folder, and we can double check it. Open it up here, and there is that that file right there. Now another option for moving uh, moving a file is to <clears throat> simply drag and drop. So we're going to come down here, and what I'm going to do is take uh, this uh, full, this file right here, and I'm going to click on it and drag it into this folder here. And now it's been moved. If I open it up, there it is. There's that folder. So I can drag and drop in addition to clicking Move to. Now a third way to do it is, is very similar to the first one. If I right-click on it, what's going to happen here, I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> Now, a third way to uh, <clears throat> to move a file is similar to the first one. So, for example, if I was going to choose this file here, which is not uh, owned by me. If it's owned by me, it would say me here. If it says the name, it shows who the owner is. If I were to right-click on it, and I'm going to come over here to where it says Add Shortcut to Drive. What it's going to do, it's going to leave this file where it's at, but it's going to allow me to put a shortcut to it. So, like a... A, a link to it, and I can place that somewhere else if I want to have access to it somewhere else. If I add shortcut to drive, then I get to go over and choose which folder where I want it to be, uh, where I want it, I want it saved. So I'm going to have it put right here in my drive instead of being inside this folder. Click that shortcut. When I go to my drive, scroll down, we'll see that there's been a link to it. So it, it exists still in the folder where it was, but now the link to it, you can see that it's a link because it has this little arrow right here next to it. It is, it is a, a separate link to that to uh, give me another way to access this file.